Hello and welcome to Getting Started with Free Toast Host. I'm Deetra, the Web Administrator for the High Point Toastmasters Club. Today's lesson is for Free Toast Host Web Administrators. I'm going to share with you in this quick tutorial how to maintain the duty roster on your club's Free Toast Host website. This lesson will cover adding a new roster, adding new roles, adding notes, and sending the roster to members. Let's get started. We're here on the home page. Scroll down to the bottom. Click on Site Administration. In the pop-up window, enter your username and password for Website Administration. We've been redirected to the Web Administrator page. Scroll down just a bit until you come to the Duty Roster link. Click on that. You'll see a list of names here of all of your club members. What you want to do here is select each member that will have administrative access to the Duty Roster the folks that will actually be able to make administrative changes. Of course you're going to select yourself. If there are several other people in the list you can simply hold down your control key and click on the members that you would like to also have administrative access. Once that's done, click this green arrow here to save those changes. At the top of the screen you will receive a message that the information has been saved and you're ready to go. Now what we have to do is scroll down to the bottom of the page to the members only section of the website. Click on duty roster. Another pop-up window appears. Here you're going to have to enter in your personal username and password rather than the web administrator username and password. We have been redirected to the duty roster page. To add a new duty roster, make sure you add it below the last roster that is currently on the page. We have about six rosters listed here. I'm just going to scroll very quickly down to the bottom. This is our last roster on the page. So to add a new one, I simply click the link Insert New Roster below. The first thing you should do is add the date for your duty roster. Be sure that you're consistent with your dates. For our club, we use a two-digit number for the month, a two-digit number for the day, and a four-digit number for the year. If you have the information available, you may also enter in the names of the members who will take on certain duties for this particular meeting. Just click on the drop down box, choose the member, and continue on. Once all of that information has been filled out, click the button at the bottom of the screen that says Update Save Roster. Now I'm going to scroll very quickly back down to the bottom and as you can see the duty roster we just added is there and has been saved. Our duty roster has several roles the Toastmaster, the Word of the Day, Invocation, Humorist, Speakers, and so forth. But let's say, for example, you want to add a new role to your duty roster. Click on Site Administration. Scroll down to Website Settings. Click on that. Scroll down just a little bit and you will come to the section Custom Roster Duty Title enter in the new role that you would like. 
For example, we don't have a listener role for our club. So I'll add in listener. And enter in a description for the listener. If there are other custom duties that you would like to add, continue to add those below with descriptions. Once that's done, scroll down to the bottom of the page and click Update Settings. Once that's done, you can scroll down to the bottom of the page, go to the Members Only section, click on Duty Roster, and you should find that you now have in your list of duty roster roles, the listener. Adding notes to the duty roster is a really simple task. Scroll down to the bottom of the duty roster you would like to add the notes. Look for the box listed meeting notes. In that section you may type in anything that you would like for the club members to know when they receive the roster, such as what the theme of the meeting will be, or just a simple reminder for them to bring their competent leadership manuals to the next meeting. Once you've entered your note, simply click the button Update Notes to save the change. Scroll down to the bottom of the roster and you'll find that the note has been saved and here you'll see that the note has been prefaced with your name to let everyone know who added the note to the roster. As many notes as you like can be added all of the members that have access to the duty roster will be able to add notes for everyone to see simply by adding it here in the meeting notes section and clicking update notes. To send the duty roster to all of your members, click on the send roster button. The roster will be emailed to every member whose email address is listed in the member directory. If you like, you may add an optional note here before hitting the send button to send the roster on to all of the club members. Lastly, let's discuss just one more thing, the edit delete roster link. This link is to, of course, edit a duty roster or to delete a duty roster altogether. Click on this link and you'll see that the duty roster changes just a little bit for administrative purposes. Here you can make any changes that are necessary from changing the member that will be taking on a role to updating speech information. Once you have made all of the updates necessary Scroll to the bottom of the screen, click the Update Save Roster button, and the changes that you made will be saved. If you would like to delete the roster, simply click the Edit Delete Roster link, scroll to the bottom of the page, click the box to the left of Delete This Roster, then click on the button Update Save Roster and the roster will be deleted. Well, that's it for this tutorial. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to send me an email to Ditra, that's D-I-T-R-A, at DitraCreative.com. Take care.